Hi, I'm Annika Johnsons from Al Johnsons in Sister Bay. I hope you enjoy my new video series called Door County Girl. These are stories of my life, the people and places that I love, and of course, how we all survive here in Northern Wisconsin. You can come back as often as you like, but don't forget to subscribe to Al's YouTube channel. I'll be posting lots of really cool new videos. So let's go. Welcome to another episode of Door County Girl. And today we are actually gonna go on to my sister-in-law's house, Jill, and she keeps the goats. And instead of us coming when the goats go onto the roof, this is what happens when they come off the roof. So all the goats here that you see, they don't wanna go on the roof. They wanna hang around with the ones that go on the roof, but they don't wanna be on the roof. So here comes my friends with the goats. We have goat rules. If it goes over 80 degrees, or if it's raining, or if it's too cold, the goats come down. So today is one of those days where it's a little too warm up there uh, for the goats. They don't have shade. That's the reason why we like to take them down. So we always treat our goats with uh, the utmost respect. So, ready? Jill's gonna open up the gate here. And here they come, because they all want to come out. Come on, babies. Come on, guys. Come on. They're gonna follow Mama Jill because they love her. <laughs> Come on, Brownie. Nice. Come on. Come on. And now everybody wants to get on now, right? Because they never want to go. She says, get out of the way, fatty. There you go. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, everyone. That's Snowflake. She's getting a little old now. She likes to take her time. Whoa, Snowflake. She froze. We need to get you a pair of little non-slip skid-proof hooves. Yeah. Good girl. Awesome. Good girl. So when they come back to the barn, we usually make sure that they have a lot of water, which that always is the case. All right, well, this is what they, us what they usually get when they get off is all the rest of the bread from the restaurant. So that's how we keep them in here. And um, the ones on the roof, they're eating grass all day long and so they don't really get as many treats as the one in the barn so we just empty it when they come back yeah um, it's limpa bread limpa it's, it's, our it's swedish limpa rye bread. actually with a goat it could be crackers or the creme any, de la creme. yeah anything that uh pretty much i found out the only thing they don't eat is lettuce so they love everything um, nothing gets wasted that's for sure they're little scrappers yeah yep this is snowflake she's a star I think this is awesome. Look at you guys. Don't yeah. you want any? So they'll be out in the sun here now for a little while, but then it gets hot and they go in the barn. It's very shaded in there. We have a great big fan that um, on these really hot days, we turn it on. We had one, um, our star, Inky, the big um, black goat that you probably saw in previous episodes, um, would literally stand in front of the fan on the hot days and just hog the whole thing. So. Um, sometimes these guys like it, sometimes not, but it keeps the barn really cool. We open the back door and it has a really nice flow in there with the wind. So it's you'll find them in the high afternoon just sitting in there in the cool, in the cool hay. So, yeah. And of course, I always have to be like, why isn't the black and white one coming over by us? And we, we have 20 goats, but... I want that little black and white one to come over. And he's a, she's a fainter too. So and she's just been she's just afraid. Yeah. She'll come eat, but she's just he's she's scared. Just he's scared. Yeah. We'll chuck some out there. <laughs> you yeah, your pigs. Your pigs. Your pigs. Your pigs. There you go. There you go. Those that's the scared crew over there. That's the scared crew. They yeah. are, they're a little timid. It's too bad these Keep guys don't want to go up on the roof. Yeah, we should have done it when they were babies and now... I remember when my son was little and Thor was little, yep. they had the, these little ones up there though. Yeah, the, the girls just didn't, they would not go They from the get-go. Um, we had to be kind of careful with putting two oh. small ones on the roof because they would, they would go under the fence and jump onto the roof of the warehouse. 
Look so, at they're all mad at each other now. <laughs> so they there. have to be, and that's why the fence. Well, not now they wrecked it, but that's why we had to put the the little bit of the fencing around the boards um, because they would just jump right through the little ones and end up in the by the house. I can't believe. I mean, what a nice sneaky. place to live. This is just so perfect. It's like. You know what, where I live, I just love coming home and it's peaceful and quiet and you have all this. You wouldn't even know that it's super busy downtown when you're out here in the country. Yeah, it's really We're not quiet. that far away from downtown. It's just uh, a hop, skip and a jump, but it's peaceful and quiet. Yeah. So after a long, hard day of goat work, they come home and they just come here and chill. And you know, people say, well, do you let them out? I just asked Jill and Jill said, yeah, we let them out all the time. Yep. We open the gate and they they go out into the 40 acres we have here and they'll just they stay they stay together because we do have um, a pretty big den of coyotes out here. Um, they tend to only come out at night though, but they'll go they'll go over to those trees and eat and then they'll kind of make their way around. Uh, there, you know, we always keep them in view and stuff. But um, just clap your hands or honk the horn and they come running back in. So. And what else do you do? You take oh bags of chips or anything that they can hear ruffling that sounds remotely like, like it's a chip. Potato They'll chips. They running. love potato They'll chips. Absolutely, come running. So, yeah, it's not too hard to get them in. But they get to eat all this grass out here then, because this actually is, after the winter, they this is pretty full. They have already eaten all of this down. You can see that there's remnants yep. of Christmas trees. Oh, Goats yeah. like Christmas trees. They will spin a Christmas tree and eat it in a day. Yeah, and guess so. what? It's Jill's birthday today. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jill. Hey, well, what are we going to do on your birthday? Eat cake? Yeah. That's my yeah. favorite thing Pretty to do. Sick. Yeah. Oh. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jill. Happy birthday to you. For those of you that don't know, Jill used to do the daily dose of goats with her son Bjorn. She had a little sabbatical for a while. <laughs> Jill is a liver transplant recipient. And this is my time to plug. Um, everybody should be signing up to be an organ donor when you get your driver's license. Uh, you can save lives, like my sister-in-law here, who we all love Thank so course. much. And uh, it's her 10-month anniversary yeah. of... Uh, her liver transplant. Yeah. I, it was just like yesterday, back in August. Yeah. It was a real horrible. August twelfth will be my one year rebirth. Yeah. So, yeah. And now she's Exciting. back at it again, and hopefully she'll be back at doing her daily dose of goats pretty quickly <laughs> with Bjorn, and um, let you yeah. guys keep updated on what's happening in goat world up here. Yeah. So, happy birthday. Oh, I love you. So happy that she's good. Well. Yeah, we're going to take a little walk inside because I asked Jill, hey, what is this one's name? She goes, there's a little board in there that they have all the names written. So we're going to go check that out. Yeah. I never even knew that was there. When they first came to us, we knew that we had to have a lot of hands-on contact with them. And that's what keeps them um, friendly and uh -huh. tame. Yeah. And so we have a little place in here. And look at all the birds. We decided to put them in this room. Oh, when it's they a little were dark little. in here, yeah. Oh, where do you see the names? Where did we write it? We wrote it on the wall. I can't really see it. This was Thor's thing he built for the goats to put the hay in. Maybe it just faded off. Yeah. And, oh, there they are. Oh, they so scratched them in here. Yeah, so peanut. Oh, look at them all. Java. Cookie. Yeah, was that Yanda or no Panda? Panda. Uh, Gertrude. Constant Constavi. Const Con. I can't get that one. That's Gustav, I think. Oh, or, Gustav. Yeah, Gustav. And then. And then one on the bottom. P. Is this a P L plate? Oh, pl um, Plato. 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 Yep, Plato. Oh my gosh, so, you have to come here and yeah. make a little frame around yeah. here and redo these because so you can hardly to, see them. I know, so we had to name them 
and uh, the kids, so the kids named them. Oh my God, that's so when they funny. Were little. Yep. Well, this is the inside of the barn, and when it's winter time, most of the time the goats don't like to go outside because it's just cold. They're like us. They don't really want to be outside. And if you guys had never really thought about it, I've never ever driven around in the country and seeing goats standing around outside if they had a if choice sunny, to be in a barn. Be out, but otherwise they'll be Yeah, in. in the morning when the sun comes up, I sometimes see them against the barn here. Like we like to sit in the sun like that when it gets the warmth. But then usually they don't hang out outside when yeah. it's winter time. Nope. So it's, they have this big, sunny winter really day, nice big barn here to hang out in. They have a nice breeze coming through here because the back door is open too. And then they have another little room over here. So there's all kinds of little places if they get sick of each other, they can uh, get away from each other, you know? Yep. Like people, we all get sick of each yeah. other, right? So it's nice and cool in here. I mean, yeah. this is exactly what they You know, it's really need. warm outside today and it's nice and cool in here. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. And then there's a little back door here and the sun shines here all afternoon. So in the winter time, the sun, they like to just sit real still in the sun like a snake likes to absorb heat. I think they like that. Yep. They'll follow the sun all the way around the barn. So as it sets, they'll go around and then they'll, as they don't get the sun anymore, then they'll come in. Where do you keep the water? In here. Okay. Um, so they the, have a watering in the winter area time, too? Yeah. So in the winter time, we plug them in. We have to or they'll freeze. And then in the summertime... Um, we just put fresh water in there every single day. Look how Clark curious they are. They've got to follow yeah. you everywhere, like tripping on them. Yeah. You think on, they you drink, you, I, I think I've said this before, you think oh, yeah. they drink so more in the summer. This is a big job, just keeping the water yeah. going. Yeah, because we have to carry it from the house down. So how come you guys don't get troughs? Like, um, a, like a low trough. Unless it was one that you could drain and fill. Because you have to clean it. They have it to have fresh water. And clean it and all clean the time. And clean it, yep. And so these these um, buckets allow us to have fresh water every day. It wouldn't, It's if you ever seen a horse or a cow, there's always like a film on it. Yeah. They would never drink it. Yeah. They would, they're very particular about their water and it has to be fresh. If there's even a little bit of hay in it, they'll, they'll move on to the next bucket. And they probably could get dehydrated mighty quick. Yeah. So they drink actually more water in the winter than they do the summer um, just to keep themselves warm. And so. just so you know, this is kind of hilarious. I'm an NPR person. Lars is an NPR person. Rolf is an NPR person. And what do the goats listen to? They're listening to NPR radio right up here. Yep. At all times. Yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a little radio, people. Keeps you, them busy. Uh, they're, they're learning things yeah. just as we're standing <laughs> here, right? Learning how to be a goat. Yep. Yeah. yeah it's a little it's smarties. Good. Well, these guys got the best life ever. I want to come and put a lawn chair out here and hang out with you guys. We did when the when the six were babies. Yeah. We would put two lawn chairs out I there and, we in the afternoon and sit with them. We a lawn chair session. Yeah. Look at this one. He's a sassy one. This one here. What do you got? A big hair hanging out of your mouth there. <laughs> yeah. Hey everyone. Are you eating my hair? Oh. Yep. Anything else we should know about what happens up here? I don't think so. So this is what they do all day. They a few of them go in the morning and then. Yeah, how do you pick and, and choose who wants to go? We have our regulars. Um, we lost a couple this winter that were our regulars, but then somehow the next ones come along, and and a lot of times um, there's two or three that know they go, and the rest of them you kind of corner them and you grab them, and then they go. Yeah. And stuff, and they don't really fight it, but these six, these babies, they will fight it tooth and nail. They're they don't go on the roof at all. They'll they'll lay down. They'll put their knees down. They'll put their heels in. And they are not moving. There is no way. Well, you know what I've noticed right now? There's not any flies here. Usually there's a lot of biting flies and stuff. Is it yeah. the nice breezy wind that's the keeping breeze. them away? It's the I breeze. love that. Yeah, we don't we don't tend to get as many flies up here at all. Yeah. I don't know. Well, this is what goat life is all about, people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they're pretty happy. And Jill's at the goat take whisperer. She's the goat <laughs> whisperer. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably be getting some babies in the next year. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to train them to go on the roof then. And, and uh, Yeah, and tell them a little bit about the fainting goats. Right away. Well, the fainting goats, it's, um, it's actually kind of a myth about the faint, you know, people say, oh, you know, if you run. But when they first come, what, it, what they do is actually lock up. So they just kind of lock up and then they fall over or they lock up and then about five seconds they keep going. So... Um, they've gotten comfortable with us, but they actually can play around and do it to themselves. They'll lock up and they'll go. But, um, but the long-haired ones are the are the fainters, 
and it's just it's just part of them. I think when they first were here, they they lock up for a longer time because they they were so afraid. But now they're not they're not, and uh, it's pretty much touch and go on them. But they can they still they still do it. If we have to catch them, it's much easier to catch them because they have to stop. So they're, now I'm noticing something unusual here. All these guys are in a little group, and yeah. all those guys are in a little yeah. group. And well, then there's Snowflake that doesn't want to be in anyone's group. Yeah, well, these six came together, so they have been together since the beginning. So they definitely, they, they were in the room probably all winter together, so that's why they're close. The long-haired ones, they all came together. And then the white ones, the ones that look like they're pregnant, but have, we've had them for like 10 years and they're not, um, they came together. So they were there longer than these six. Yeah. And they, they just have stayed together in that sense but oh. you'll see them in their groups oh. like that yeah look at that one's getting a little Fighting. feisty yeah yep so well. see now they'll start laying down in the sun here and just hang out for the afternoon until they get too warm and then they'll all go inside and what so. time do they usually go in are they like chickens where they just decide oh sundown we're just going in usually if it's a nice day and it's not too hot they'll stay out and they will literally follow the sun around the barn and then go in but if it's hot like this and all of a sudden you know because they're in a fur coat yeah all of a sudden you look out and they'll all just be in the barn in the shade and they'll spend the rest of the day in there. Smart Maybe goes. evening, if it cools off a little bit, you'll see them come out here. And that's when we open the gate and let them just roam around and eat out in the pasture. And um, they just love doing that. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, they, they look forward to that. So, well, yeah. thanks for uh, showing me around, Jill. I mean, I come up here a lot. Yeah. I got a new little uh, dog. It's got happened to be Port Border Carly, and Jill's my dog sitter sometimes. And I've part Australian Shepherd and she likes to come up here and run from the porch to the fence to the porch to the fence and every now and then she'll sneak in the fence when Lars is getting water and chase these poor guys around so yep. yeah we'll have to bring her up here and see what she does inside the pen hmm. yikes She's give them hurt. some exercise hurt them. yep the fainting goes will all faint yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right well anyways happy birthday thank you thank you for joining us on your birthday i know you probably have some cake plans later that you're going to save us all a slice <laughs> right bill and kit yeah, that's um, it. yeah. so anyways th thanks for watching another episode of door county girl and don't forget to subscribe and press the little button on the corner and they'll send you some uh heads up on a new video that might be coming out right right Great. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks for watching Door County Girl. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you next time.